जय हिंद चिल्ड्रेन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट एसिड्स एंड बेसिस सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेम टुडे विद ए न्यू टॉपिक सॉल्ट्स एंड न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शंस इन द लास्ट क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट पी एच स्केल पी एच स्केल इज द मेजर ऑफ हाउ एसिडिक ऑन बेसिक वाटर इज द रेंज गोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर्टीन द पी एच पी स्टैंड फॉर पोटेंस which means power power of hydrogen p means power h for hydrogen so ph generally ranges from 0 to 14 0 being very acidic and 14 being very alkaline so from 0 to 7 the ph acidic the if it is 7 it is neutral if it is from 7 to 14 it is called as alkaline or basic solution is this clear so this is about ph scale the more the value 7 it is alkaline let's learn about acids in particularly acids gives h plus ions h plus means hydrogen ions these are the examples of some strong acids in the last class we have learnt about the organic acids which are available in the food items like oxalic acid and uh, lactic acid malic acid tartaric acid etc so they are the organic acids here are the examples i am showing which are mineral acids which are available in the laboratory and made from the Uh, mineral sources so even acids can classified into strong acids and weak acids examples of strong acids are hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid and weak acids examples are oxalic acid acetic acid formic acid i am showing few examples which we are going to learn in detail in the further slides uh, so do remember the what are strong acids and what are weak acids so whatever it is whether it is a strong acid or the weak acid if that compound is going to release h plus ions on the dissociation if means for example if you take hydrochloric acid hcl if we dissociate it it is going to release h plus ion and chloride ion same thing with the nitric acid if you break it dissociate it we are going to get h plus ion and no3 minus ion like that same with the acetic acid oxalic acid and formic acid they are release they will release h plus ions on dissociation and next about the bases bases on dissociation gives oh minus ions usually the bases name ends with the Uh, suffix hydroxide oh means hydroxide so the examples of bases are sodium hydroxide barium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide calcium hydroxide potassium hydroxide if you see all the bases have oh ions in their structure and uh, one example of the weak base we have here is ammonium hydroxide so whatever the base it is when we dissociate it we are going to get oh minus whereas in acids we got h plus ions in bases we are going to get oh minus ions when such acids and bases react with each other the one the acid which gives h plus ions the base which gives oh minus ions when they react with each other they will reform a compound called salt along with the water so what is salt salt is an ionic compound formed when acid and base reacts with each other during this process water is also produced and in addition heat is also liberated this reaction is called neutralization why this is because here p acid which is having the very low temperature uh, low ph base which is having more than p uh, 7 ph value when they are mixed up the ph is going to become 
neutral so that's why it is called as neutralization reaction but all salts cannot be neutral in, in nature before that let we let us discuss some examples of this we will take an acid hcl hydrochloric acid which is a strong acid naoh which is a base when we dissolve when we mix this one this will first dissociate hcl will dissociate into h plus and cl minus base will dissociate into na plus and oh minus now they will start exchanging this na plus will attach to the chloride ion and oh will go and bind to the h plus ion so h plus oh becomes h2 water as usual whereas na plus cl becomes nacl which is a salt this is a salt called as a common salt which we will use in our home salt another example for this is hno3 nitric acid when reacts with base called sodium hydroxide it gives water and also salt called sodium nitrate so is this clear now there are different types of salts as i told you all salts cannot be neutral in nature even the name says that neutralization but all salts cannot be neutral in nature there are different types of salts neutral salts acidic salts basic salts neutral salts are formed when a strong acid and strong base are added to each other then it forms neutral salt whereas acidic salts are produced when strong acid reacts with weak base weak base so which one is strong here acid so the salt formed will be having the ph of acidic nature whereas base quite opposite to the acidic salts here acid is weak in nature and base is strong when strong base reacts with weak acid it forms the basic salts neutralization in our daily life this neutralization is helpful in our daily life in the form of curing indigestion problems our stomach releases hydrochloric acid when we have uh, improper eating habits the hcl released will try to harm the surface of stomach then will uh, it causes indigestion so for this we are the doctor prescribe us antacid tablets or syrup which contains base called as calcium carbonate so this calcium carbonate which is a base reacts with acid strong acid hydrochloric acid and neutralizes acidic effect so in this way we are going to get relieved from the acidity next one is insect stings usually whenever honey bees bites us we will get the irritation this is because they release they injects formic acid into our body this formic acid causes the irritation on our skin even pain so to reduce this to relieve from this pain we have to apply some base like if it is readily available we can apply toothpaste which is a base and uh, baking soda or calamine solution if you visit a doctor for this he is uh, he will suggest the calamine solution which is nothing but contains Uh, zinc carbonate which is a base so when this base is added to acid so it is going to neutralize this acidic effect and the pain is relieved and next one is nettle leaf this is the nettle leaf uh, even we can see this in our surroundings this is what we call in telugu durada durada gunta aku right whenever if you touch this leaf we are going to get the sensation of itching so this leaf has actually very 
small thin hair like structures right when we touch the leaf these trichomes these hair like structures will inject formic acid which is also called as methanoic acid into our body and causes the pain of itching so to relieve from this pain we can use baking soda or dock leaf so that we can get relieved from the pain next use of the neutralization is factory waste so the most of the waste coming out of the factories are a contains acidic substances if they are reaching the water they are causing the uh, water pollution and also affects the water life there so to prevent these factories has to treat the waste before releasing into the river the treatment should be carried out by adding a base such as slaked lime so when this uh, base is added to acidic waste it will get neutralized so there is a less effect on the aquatic life in the water and uh, next one is soil treatment usually the plant grow better in the neutral so soils but due to the uh, excessive use of food, chemical fertilizers and pesticides the soil is becoming acidic in nature so to make it neutral the farmers use uh, bases like quick lime calcium which is calcium oxide or silicon lime calcium hydroxide or chalk which is calcium carbonate the same thing we can do if the soil is having the basic signature we can add acidic compounds to it to make it neutral in nature uh, summary of this session is every living being carries out their metabolic activities with an optimal ph range everything require particular ph beyond this it won't function like our body has ph of 7 to 7.8 so everything ha they ha then only they can carry out particular chemical reactions and acids and bases react with each other to form corresponding salts and water this reaction is called as neutralization reaction and thus formed salts are of three types acidic basic and neutral salts these salts or neutralization reactions have different applications in our daily life so uh, i hope you understood everything clearly based on the class you have to complete this assignment which were based on the learning outcomes first one is define neutralization and describe the process of neutralization giving an example and uh, next you have to identify the type of salt here and the next slide is going to give some uh, work for you so this is the picture you have to identify and correlate with our discussed topic and explain how it is related to the topic and next have fun with this uh, puzzle and i hope you understood everything if you have any doubt post your doubt is in our whatsapp group so that i can reply to you uh, this is for today and uh, we will meet you in the next session with a new topic of new lesson ha have a great learning time jai hind